guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. As most of you guys probably already know, I am quite a gold jewelry fanatic. I have tried so many different brands over the span of almost 10 years. I definitely have a curation of brands that are my go-tos. I thought it would be a really fun video idea to go through my list of jewelry brands that I typically gravitate towards for certain reasons. To kick off this video, a brand who really encompasses the minimalistic, simple designs that are super timeless and goes with every occasion, every outfit, super easy to style. I also have to mention that they have amazing gold vermeil pieces, which is perfect for those who don't want to splurge on on solid gold pieces because their prices can be really hiked up while still prioritizing sustainability and longevity of the jewelry pieces. I would assign this award to Lanier who is also kindly the sponsor of today's video. So thank you so much Lanier for partnering up with me. Thanks to Lanier, I was actually able to try out their jewelry pieces but also other brands jewelry pieces as well, which is super exciting. I love trying new jewelry brands. So this collaboration was right up my alley. The thing that I really appreciate about Lanier is that their prices are super fair. Some of my favorite pieces from them are gold vermeil because it doesn't break the bank, but you are still getting very good quality jewelry. I really love their minimalistic approach to their designs. Before our collaboration even happened, I actually wore Lanier jewelry pieces on my wedding day. And if that doesn't serve as a testimony to how much I love their jewelry pieces, I don't know what does. Those memories are going to last you for a lifetime. I wore these earrings that I'm wearing on my ears right now and the match necklace which I'll give little clips of. I wore those two as a set for my wedding attire and I am so confident in my decision back then to go with those jewelry pieces because they are just so stunning. My mind has not changed about them. A few other jewelry pieces that I love from Lanier is this ring that I have on my right middle finger. <laughs> I'm not sure if my camera will focus but this is just a super cute dainty ring that you can also stack with. I just feel like this gemstone on this ring is so sparkly without it being a super pricey because obviously it's not like a real diamond or anything, but it just has a really nice shine and it doesn't seem like cheapy, like cheaply made. I know some gemstones can look really just lackluster and it's not the best quality in most situations, I feel. But this one is just super well made. I love it, it's just so cute. Another favorite piece that I have from Lanier is this bracelet, the tennis one. It's right here. The shine on this is gorgeous and it fits my wrist so, so well. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. It's so beautiful. And these pieces are all gold vermeil and I love them so much. I wouldn't shower in them or sweat in them excessively. I would still be careful just because they're not solid gold and solid gold pieces are, in my mind, the only things that are truly tarnish free and won't change colors on you and won't deteriorate, stuff like that. With all other pieces, I'm still a little bit more careful, but for it being so fairly priced, I feel like the quality is really there. So I would highly recommend checking out Lanier if you're looking for reasonably priced jewelry pieces but that'll still last you a long time. I highly recommend them and I feel like they really hit the nail on the head when it comes to minimalistic and timeless designs. If you guys are curious about learning more about Lanier, I'll go ahead and link my dedicated Lanier jewelry review video here so you guys can go ahead and check that out. I'll also go ahead and include all of my discount code and the website as well in my description box as always. So go ahead and show them some love. Thank you so much Lanier for sponsoring this video. This award would go to a jewelry brand that has the most unique, spicy, and edgy designs. I feel like a lot of brands these days do tend to have very similar designs, which I don't hate because I like having the options, right? But if I want to buy some jewelry that I might want as a statement piece, or I'm just looking for something different, then I would go to Masoma. <laughs> I feel like if you watched my Masoma review video, you guys would know 
my thoughts on this brand. When I went on their website, I was really impressed by the uniqueness of their designs and their jewelry pieces. I feel like they have the most edgy style out of any jewelry brand that I've experienced before. I also can say with confidence that their quality is amazing. It feels really substantial when I hold them and the clasps were really secure. I just felt like they did a really good job of putting quality at the forefront, but also really making sure that they stood out with their designs. As I did for Lanier, I also did a dedicated review video on Masoma. So if you guys are curious to learn more about them, go ahead and check that video out. All that to say, Masoma is one of my go-to jewelry brands if I want something different and if I want to kind of go out of my comfort zone and try something new. This brand is called Ana Luisa and I know you guys are probably familiar with this brand. They do a lot of collaborations with other creators. I've collaborated with them as well in the past. I have had the opportunity over time to really thoroughly test out Ana Luisa's pieces. And if you are looking for gold plated jewelry specifically, not vermeil, not solid. I mean, I do feel like they have those pieces as well, but I like to go to Ana Luisa for, I don't want to say costume jewelry, but kind of like fashion trendy pieces I would go to Ana Luisa for. Mainly because their prices are so good and I've had some of their jewelry pieces that are just plated over brass and they have lasted me for a really good amount of time. I still have my pieces that I bought from years ago and they are still holding strong. They haven't changed colors on me, but keep in mind, I do not wear my jewelry that are only gold plated or just fashion accessories like that in water or I just don't expose them to harsh chemicals, stuff like that. I'm pretty careful about it. But that being said, I do feel like Ana Luisa pieces are pretty high quality while still being relatively affordable and accessible. Ana Luisa also has a really fantastic rewards program. So if you sign up for an account and continue to refer people, you can really start to rack up some points and you could basically buy their jewelry with your points, which is really cool in my opinion. The next brand that I want to touch on is Majuri. I feel like I don't really need to go in depth about this brand because I know they're super well known already and tons of creators also work with Majuri. I feel like I really got into Majuri a couple years back when I started to really upgrade my jewelry collection. They are not the most affordable jewelry brand out there because they do have solid gold pieces, they do sell diamonds, so on and so forth, but they have the largest variety, I feel. The quality is also superb. However, if you are shopping on Majuri, you have to be willing to spend a little bit more than some other brands. Majuri has a really good mix of timeless pieces, but also trendy pieces as well. I have a lot of jewelry from Majuri that I've collected over time, and none of them have changed on me or tarnished or anything like that. Some of my all-time favorite pieces are from Majuri. Like for example, I have this diamond necklace on. It is a necklace that I wear every single day. I never take this off. I received this as a gift from my now husband. <laughs> he got it for me for Christmas because I wanted this so, so bad. And he got it for me and I just have never taken it off. So I've been wearing this every single day of my life for the past, what now? Like three, four years. And there's not a scratch on it, no dent, no damage, hasn't changed colors on me. Uh, granted, it is solid gold, so solid gold pieces will last a lifetime. I do have other pieces from Majuri that are solid gold, like I have a couple rings that are solid gold that I can wear all the time. But with rings, I do tend to switch them out more regularly than necklaces. I feel like rings are more easy to pop on and off. Majuri would win the award for offering the biggest variety of styles. I would say and having the best like solid gold pieces. They are really reliable. When I buy from a jury, I know what I'm getting. The quality is predictable, so I love that aspect about it. I don't really have to ever worry that I'm gonna get a dud. The last award that I would give is for having the most unique, modern, 
heirloom type of pieces and having options to customize your jewelry, this award would go to Kin Studio. Kin Studio, I have discovered recently actually, this this within this year. I have just fallen in love with their aesthetic. A lot of people get their pieces for engagements like their rings and customizable pieces for necklaces, bracelets and such. They also have a lot to offer when it comes to solid gold pieces. I have purchased two pieces from Kin Studios and one of them was for me and one of them was for my best friend. I got her a gift from there and they are both customizable pieces. This is what I have and I bought like a matching one for my best friend but in a bracelet version. It is pricey, not gonna lie, but the quality is so good. I've yanked on this so many times already in the shower and it hasn't broken on me or anything like that. The clasp feels really, really nicely made and sturdy. And the nameplate itself is just so beautiful. This nameplate specifically is in Korean. It's my name phonetically spelled in Korean. So I love this so, so much. I feel like it incorporates so much character and personality into the jewelry piece. And I got a similar thing for my best friend. The only downside, like I mentioned before, is the price tag. It's fairly high, but I just feel like it it's worth it. <laughs> so that is everything, you guys. Those are my favorite current jewelry brands and the awards that I would give them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to stick around, and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.